they don't do the right way because they do like this. Oh yeah. Right? And then they do it fell in. many times over there. Like that's not wrong because you keep, <laughs> you keep, it, keep it do the use you bring yeah. to your mom. Today we're exploring the fascinating and multicultural food scene of Jackson Heights in Queens, New York. You'll find everything from Mexican seafood and Bengali street snacks to speakeasy omakases. All ran by chefs and cooks who have brought authentic dishes with them from around the world to the most diverse neighborhood in the U.S. One of those cooks is Bimla from Nepali Banchagar, a restaurant located opposite 74th Street Station and a multiple-time winner of the area's annual Momo Crawl. So these are the shell roti. It is made from rice flour and sugar, so it's fried. It comes out really nice, chewy sweetness to it. They make it in a traditional way out in the kitchen. It's a big pot of oil, and they drop it in. It comes out in a donut shape, flip it over, comes out nice and hot. And then you get this little pot of chutney, to dip it in. It's like, it's quite spicy. Thank you. Thank you. These are the chicken momo. It has spices, chilies. A lot of momos just come without soup. I like them in this. Love They're it. something different. And then you can see in the momo how there's lots of different herbs in there. It's warming, it's comforting. You've got the dumpling, you've got the meat, and you've got the warm soup. Definitely. And a bit of spice. This dish is $9, and you get eight momos for that in this amazing broth. You really, yeah. you can't beat it. So the egg bar is an interesting one. This is a lentil patty, and we chose the egg one. You can also get different things in here. Comes again with their spicy chutney sauce. My dad used to make one-eyed western. Some people call it eggs in the basket, but it's a piece of bread with the egg in the middle. That's the American version, but this version is yeah. really nice. You can see how they have like a nice crispy edge right here. That's the stuff, that's the part. Yeah. <laughs> We're at La Esquina del Camarón Mexicano. We're right on the corner of Roosevelt and 80th, and we're going to try out their shrimp cocktail, empanadas, and fish tacos. Hi. Hi. How are you? Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Thanks very much. It's really a seafood feast here for just a great price. It's a staple cheap eat in the area. It's just an outdoor window, so it's in the back of a bodega. He said he started as a streetcar over eight years ago outside, which is selling Saturdays and Sundays, and then he saw this space come up, opened that up, and now they sell outside, got these little benches, and it's like in summer, it's always packed, especially yeah. on weekends. Here is the shrimp and octopus cocktail. So we've got layers of shrimp at the bottom, the octopus, chopped onions, cilantro, avocado, and then you can add your own hot sauce on the top. They give you plenty of shrimp and octopus in here. You can really see it inside there. And the owner, Pedro, told us you are supposed to mix it all up, mix around the different fish. Here we go. So good, I love the cilantro in there. The owner is from Veracruz, Mexico, so that's where this type of dish comes from. He said he grew up having it as a kid, and it's nice to bring back to the US as well. We asked him what goes into the tomato sauce, he said that's fully a secret. Just the tomato sauce with a lot of love. I've got one of their tostadas here. This is the octopus one, also has a bit of avocado on top. We have a fish empanada, and two of their white fish with onion on la plancha. Nice big bit of fish for each taco. And then onions on top. I like to squeeze a little bit of lime on mine. They do the double tortilla here. Look at that massive piece of fish. It's bigger than the tortilla. Just a few blocks down is Angel Indian Restaurant, which was started by Chef Amri, who's worked at some of the city's best Indian eateries. The menu originally started as vegetarian before adding meat dishes and getting recognized in the Michelin Guide for their simple setup but incredible food. For appetizers, we got the adraki lamb, so you got the big lamb chops. We got paneer, Punjabi 35. We got some tandoori chicken, so it's like chosa tikka, and it's so soft, cooked in a clay oven. The adraki lamb, so tender. It's rich, but not overly gamey. Like a lovely oh, yeah. charcoal, adds so much flavor. It's a great combination for me. Soft and then a bite to it. So we have an insane Indian spread right now. <laughs> a lot of meat, but also a couple veggie. So this is the lotus root kofta, and this is the chana. So those are the two vegetarian. And then we have... Lamb Rogan Josh is this one. And then we got goat dum biryani. We had the chicken biryani here last time, so I'm excited to try that. Uh, Cholly Batura. It's like fried dough and then uh, chickpeas to go on top. It's like a little bit hollow inside. And you rip a piece of that off. Chickpea on top. Take a bite. And their biryani is really cool because all of this is cooked together. The flavors all combine in a really nice way. When you open it up, you're supposed to then mix it around. So 
the seasonings and the herbs can all mix together with the meat. You also have some caramelized onions in there, so it's just like an insane flavor when it comes out. My daughter, oh, yeah. Angel is my daughter. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's my son and my wife. Cool. cool. Awesome. Nice. Hello. He named the restaurant after you. Nice. That's so nice like, when yeah. people like, come over like that. For us, it's like when you get to know the story behind the place and like where they're from, like why they started it, it's, yeah. it, it makes it so much better, you know? It's like that, that's the main part. He's now famous for his biryani and you won't see a table without it. You have to get it. We're at Sushi on Me. It's a speakeasy omakase, and we're with Chef Palm. We can't wait to try. We're having a 15-course omakase menu. You ready? Ready. Yeah. But the rule here, drink first if you're there. Cheers, guy. Cheers. So what are we starting with? We're going to start the first appetizer. It's a Kumamoto oyster. Cool. Kumamoto oyster is a Japanese oyster. We marinate with the sake, marinate in soy sauce. Okay. We're gonna put some Thai flavor. It's just chili garlic. Do you change up the menu or do you mainly keep the no. same dishes? I change all the time. Yeah. Because I think the food is like a jazz yeah. that improvises. Yeah. yeah. Depending on your feeling. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cheers. Pink salmon with tamarind salt, awesome. chili garlic, fried onion, and we smoke with rosemary. Thank you. Otoro with caviar. Otoro nice. is a fatty tuna. For another place called fatty tuna, right? Yeah. But this wow. place called fucking fatty tuna. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> fucking Amazing. fatty tuna. Perfect to finish off. Awesome. Just finished up with an amazing meal at Sushi On Me. They switch up their menu all the time, so you can come in multiple times and get something different. It was different, totally different to what we had last time. So, yeah, yeah thanks very much, Chef Bob. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. Awesome. Thank you. Nice to see you again. So you can get it for here or to go. If it's for here, you grab one of their little seats. Proper street food, you know? Yep. From Fusca House right now, we have got the Fusca. We're on the corner of 37th Ave and 73rd Street. And these are the Bengali snacks that are a little bit similar to the Pani Puri and the Dahi Batata Puri. So in this one, it's mainly chickpea and potato. There's some herbs and also some shredded egg on the top. And this is the tamarind sauce. So this is a crispy shell. And here's your tamarind sauce. And what you do is just put the sauce in, inside in the middle and bite it right away because you do not want it to go soggy. That's a perfect bite. They almost just go too quickly. Next stop is Beer Irlandia. It's between 77th and 78th on Roosevelt Ave. When we used to come here, it was like our little secret and there was like two people working on the truck and yeah. now there's eight of them. It's gone wild. We do have to wait on the line a little bit longer now, but for good reason. The food is Still amazing. Worth it. Still worth it. Totally worth it. You have to try this spot. It's so good. Why did you choose Jackson Heights for your first truck? because we are in the center of Bronx, uh, Long Island, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooklyn, in the park, Manhattan, so we are right in the middle, yeah. like everybody's yeah. close. This is a, hu it's a busy hub, isn't it? You know, especially with 74th Street. Yeah, uh, and yeah. the main reason we get so busy too, because sometimes they, they, they saw this in, the, in Instagram, they yeah. want to take a photo. <laughs> they want to do it. <laughs> they, they come from that photo, and uh, yeah. that's something like we never saw before. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Dip. Awesome. They always do them. They don't do the right way because they do like this. Oh yeah. Right? And then they do it fell in. many times over there like 
that's not wrong because you keep, <laughs> you keep, it, keep it do the use do you bring yeah. to your mouth. Yeah, that's well, thank awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. Great to meet you and talk yeah, to you again. Yeah, good to see you again. We're at Addictive Wine. It's the perfect place to cap off the night. Uh, they've got the wine bar here. They've got uh, Addictive Bar Me and a wine shop across the road. And we're going to do a little tasting and try a few dishes as well. They also don't mess around with their glassware here. You can really tell the quality, and yeah, I love everything, that. Yeah, everything is so well. It's definitely well put a pet together. peeve we, when we've gone places with nice wine and they don't have it in good glasses. Probably sounds a bit bougie, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what I love as well is they've got the wine shop opposite. So if you like one here, they probably sell it over there. And you go, okay, I like that wine. I'm going to have some at home. Yeah, works out pretty nice. Perfect. <laughs> So Cy went for the Merlot and I have a Pinot Noir, but they actually have a Merlot reduction sauce to go with the steak. And it's perfectly cooked. It's literally like melt in your mouth and a great mashed potatoes as well. And I love asparagus. <laughs> asparagus is my favorite fancy veg and then peas are my favorite cheap veg. So pretty much our day shows the diversity of this area and the quality that you can find, the yeah. value. It really just has everything a foodie is looking for. Just don't look that way because there's a Denny's. So. <laughs> <laughs>